Hey, it's Len Davis with Pangeality Productions, and I'm up here on the fifth story roof of a building in Chinatown on the edge of downtown Seattle. I'm shooting a story, do some freelance work for the Seattle Channel uh, for a program called City Stream. That, uh, I do stories about kind of sustainability and urban ecology and other positive sort of green-oriented stories for the program. And we're up here on the roof of this building uh, doing a story about the installation of these new solar water heaters. Um, they're putting in about 10 of them on this building uh, and it's a federal grant uh, and the idea is it's not generating electricity it's preheating the water that will go through the building's existing water heaters so ideally in the long run it'll be about 60 percent of the water heating will happen right up here during the daytime hours and the deal is it's not the actual water that's cycling through the pipes but it's some sort of liquid that's similar to antifreeze so during the day steam inside these tubes that I'm going to show you heat up the antifreeze that gets pumped down to the water heater and that heat is transferred to the existing water tanks before it gets pumped up to the uh, the uh, apartments and the you know units within the building that'll be using it so the deal is that this is a office a Seattle office of housing uh, initiative it's the homewise program that deals with a variety of low-income housing and other uh, you know things related to that here in the city and we're up here on the roof of this building it's kind of a demonstration it's early in the project uh, history they had federal grant money that needed to be used so there's 10 of these this is one of three buildings in the international district we're doing the story about and check it out so there's five rows of two of these and they currently don't have they will eventually be filled with those kinds of tubes and right now there's just a couple in place each but this copper piping connects all of them and brings this hot liquid pipe down into the rest of the building. And so where it goes down into the building is to the original water heaters, where instead of using gas, the goal is to use the power of the sun for the water heating needs of the building. So that's downtown. We're here in Chinatown on the roof of this building. And those pipes will bring it down right there and go down into the building so apparently this system is going to be operational by next week it'll be bringing hot water down to the residents of this building which is pretty cool and this is what the tubes look like that are being installed in those holders they're kind of closed up because it's the end of the day but the basic premise on this is when you take all of the permitting and you take all of the costs for the engineering as well as the labor and the parts one of these panels that has about 30 tubes in it comes out to about $10,000 each. That's fully installed. So the idea is this is about 10 sets. So that's about a $100,000 project when you take all the supplies and the pre-permitting and the engineering and all that kind of stuff as well as the installation. Pretty cool. So it's Len Davis with Pangeality Productions doing a story for the Seattle Channel program City Stream. And we're up here on the roof of a building in Chinatown talking about the installation of solar water heaters. Uh, talking about, you know, saving energy and changing the way we build buildings. Stay fresh.